What's up guys and welcome back to the John and Q channel. In today's video, I'll be going over this rifle right here. The Springfield Armory St. Victor 556. Disclaimer for you guys, Springfield Armory did send this rifle for me to review on the channel. Springfield Armory came out with this rifle, right? And it's actually packed with some Magpul furniture. You got the buttstock, you got the grip, and you got this angled foregrip by Magpul. This magazine is made by Magpul, but this is mine and does not come with the rifle. And the rail covers on the rifle are mine and do not come stock by Springfield Armory. As well as a cloud defensive weapon light, that's mine, and it does not come with the Springfield Armory Victor. The Hollow Sun 510C is also mine and does not come with the rifle. Just wanna make sure that was clear. <laughs> but you do get these flip up sights, both rear and the front. So that's nice of them to add. I'm pretty sure you can get this exact same setup stock, but in a different color like black and gray. This is what I would run on patrol and my range days like today. Okay, let's do a quick rundown of the specs on the St. Victor. It's got a 16 inch CMV Melanite barrel, low profile spring loaded adjustable flip up sights. The upper receiver is a Ford 7075 T6 aluminum and it's type three hard coat anodized. It's also got a forward assist and M4 feed ramps. The lower receiver is forged by 7075 T6 aluminum, same type three hard coat anodized, and it's got an acute tight tension system. The bolt carrier group is enhanced M16 with 9310 steel bolt, HPT slash MPI melanite. The gas system is a direct impingement, mid-length, low profile pinned gas block. The handguard is aluminum free float with SAA locking tabs and their M lock. Stock is a Magpul MOE SL FDE color. The trigger's got a nickel brown coated flat GI. The muzzle device is a SA muzzle brake. The receiver extension is a mil spec. Receiver end plate is a QD. Charging handle GI style. Safety switch single side. So the St. Victor stock from the factory weighs at about six pounds and nine ounces. And it's got an MSRP price of about $1,200. I think I've shot about 800 rounds through the St. Victor. And I wanna say it actually shoots very smooth and it's very light. It's got no crazy recoil. It doesn't have any surprises when you shoot. It shoots and it shoots well. And to be honest, that's what I look for in any gun, especially rifles. If I'm at the range or if I'm on patrol, I need this rifle to work. And there's a few features I love about this rifle. See this right here? Look at the trigger on that. Nice flat trigger. So the fact that Springfield Armory made the Victor with a flat trigger, to me, that's just a huge upgrade. I don't have to buy another flat trigger and try to install it onto the Victor. Another thing that I do like is that they include QD mounts. And by that, I mean like they give you a placement for a QD mount. I actually installed my own QD mount up here just because I do like the way this uh, fits a lot better. But if you wanted to, you could purchase one and install it right here with the pre-installment already made for you. I mean, that to me, that's a nice feature on it. You don't see a lot of that on rifles nowadays. All right, let me show you uh, this part uh, that I actually do love. The, the safety switch is right here. And the cool thing about the safety switch is this. If I wanna fire, I just have to engage it and it kind of shoots up about, what, 30 degrees? instead of the whole 90. You know how in most rifles, you have to engage the entire switch and that's gotta be pointing all the way up. But with this, this is safe, fire. So it's about 30 degree difference. And to me, that's a big deal because I wanna get on target, I wanna shoot my target quick, and I want to engage quickly so I can neutralize that target. To me, engaging that switch, it's smooth and it's very quick. So I love that the Victor comes stock with that kind of a feature. That's pretty cool. And I found that as I'm shooting this rifle, it doesn't have a ton of recoil and it doesn't give you a ton of bounce as I've shot other rifles. Hopefully that makes sense, but there's not much of a kick once you pull that trigger. So as I'm shooting the St. Victor, man, I'm really liking the way it feels. I love that there's not much recoil and it doesn't bump you all over the place, right? Uh, the one thing that I would change on this rifle is I'd get a Radiant Raptor charging handle which I may just upgrade to that. There's no Picatinny uh, top rail up here and there's no M-lock. It's just a smooth surface uh, on the top of this barrel and the actual M-lock system up here. So, I mean, is that such a big deterrent? I don't think it should be. If anything, like as I'm gripping this with my support hand, it gives me a smooth grip. And honestly, it, it does have like my thumb my thumb is able to grip even more so just because there's that smooth surface and some M-lock I can attach to. But also these rail covers do help uh, to mitigate kind of that, you know, the sharpness or hardness of the M-lock. For a semi-spec'd out rifle that you can get for less than 1200 bucks, I'd pick this up, man. I mean, if I were you, I would for sure buy it. 
Uh, I'm not getting paid to say that. I'm just, that's genuinely my opinion. And before I reached out to Springfield Armory, to be honest, I was looking at getting this rifle. So will I shoot this all the time? Is this gonna be my new range rifle? You betcha. Are you gonna pick this up? Do you think it's worth it? Do you like the features that it comes with? What would you change? Let me know down in the comments below. And with that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. I like this rifle a lot, man. I, I'm gonna go shoot some more. Let's shoot it.